Yeah. Perfect. That's it? Just climb up. Just climb up. Just follow your natural instincts. Up. You know, like the, the, the thing with people who climb very high, and I've come to realize it too, is anywhere after 65 feet, if you fall, chances are there's, there's, there's no way you're going to live. So after 65 feet, what are you scared of? Right? So at the gym even, if I'm on a 75, if you fall on those mats with your arms the wrong way, you're like, and that doesn't catch you, man, you could fucking die. So outside, you fall on a bunch of trees or rocks, that's it. So I find it interesting because then my definition of fear changes because like you, you, you did a three climb pitch to get to the chimney technically. In rope length, that would, that's what it would be. Mm -hmm. Because you're sometimes doing it free solo and just hopping up things in the chimney because you got those walls, it feels quite safe. Yeah. Um, you don't notice that you're really climbing high. That's like 600 feet, right? Three length rope. So it's no, interesting. It yeah, so when you do Pete's Farewell, it's three pitches where you got to go up, anchor in, go up. So the funny thing is, after the first pitch, like if anything goes wrong, that's it. That's it. Why ask then? I wouldn't even ask. Show him. That's the best one. He's doing now. That's my favorite. This red one. You know, like anyone who works out or does any type of physical activity, there's no such thing as a body that doesn't degrade, right? There's no such thing as like you have to prehab everything. Um, injury isn't um, an option, it's a guarantee when you're doing these intense sports. So you have to be ready to like deal with those blows and try to recover maturely, I think. Um, Learn from Right, and while everything fucking like get super good one day and never feel pain like no you'll always have like if you hurt your wrist or a tendon it'll never get back to 100 percent so you always have to work with that which is tough because you see a lot of guys hurting their shoulders in the gym pulling like their traps a lot of the times wrists the worst thing would be to like break a nerve in your hand and then your fingers bent like oh, this trigger finger. right um and these are things where it's so important that they even just roll your hands around and play with them and use these these tricks, you know. Like I got guys at the gym who know about my wrist and just tell me like, yo, only climb slopers. So these big holds where like I was telling you, you activate all your fingers yeah, yeah. rather than hanging on your yeah. tendons, right? Because yeah. um, unless you have a really proper footwork, pushing in there, you're leading into the wall properly, you're engaging your balance, to a point where you don't have to rely solely on your arms, the arms become more of balance. Um, you know, it hurts your fucking fingers because you do come off the wall tons of times on the overhangs where your feet aren't touching and it's all in the hands. Your feet might come back in, you pick up your footwork. It's very tough on the hands. And you know, because you do it a lot and you might, you have this adrenaline, you think sometimes like, no, I can keep at it. But I think you gotta, you, everyone has to find their middle ground, you know? Your choice for foot, okay. but uh, Top, like out is it, was it here? It was here first. Here, blue, and then up here. Then what? And then um, all the way up to that yellow one. Oh. Path, a little yellow. A little too high. A little blue again. Okay. And then, uh, and then up to the brown. The brown one in the middle, and then the yellow. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
like <coughs> on him, man. I'm definitely a skateboarder. I was like sick. He's like, yeah, I actually sell it. I actually sell it. But that being said, there's something about accomplishing something together too and bouncing off each other that sometimes I, I, I bet you wouldn't be able to do some of the things you do with your friends or the people you're around. Well, you're trying to just teach, you know, the, the fundamentals that make it so much easier that sometimes I wish someone would have told me sooner. But then again, there's climbers who do all the time and that's what makes it so good that a stranger will walk by and say like, drop, drop your left leg and flag your foot underneath your right. And you're like, oh shit, and then you take your left leg, you put it on your leg, you flag it, and then all that weight shifts, carries the hand a lot better because you anchor into it, and then you're like, hmm, thanks. But you wouldn't have noticed that in the beginning because it's this intense hole trying to wrap your mind around it, so it's just really cool. But I think a big part of that too is, I don't think it's a pride thing, I think it's a learning process when you want to go outside and, you know, someone's 200 feet up, sometimes you can't get to them. And you can't ask them, hey, what, how do I get this next move? You gotta figure it out. In the gym, you could ask someone, hey, where's my next foot? Where's my next? Right, so it's a bit tougher, but the fun part about that, I suppose, too, is that you have people in the gym who I could easily tell you, hey, boom, 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 left hand here, match, switch. Um, but a lot of people don't wanna know that. Yeah. Level, I say, why do you climb? Right. Um, it does. Man, I think it's just, it's changed. Honestly, like the actual climbing part of it is huge, but I think a big part of it is like how it's exposed me. Like I was talking about before, almost like when you look at a mountain or a rock face, it was just a pretty view before. And now it's like, no, I want to climb that. I want to be in that, you know? You know, it makes you want to travel and see all these other formations and rocks and mountains and tap into all those cultures. And um, it makes you appreciate it a lot more, I find, you know? Um, so I think that's a huge part of it. And that alone gets me higher. <laughs> Some people do it on a more extreme level where they look at, you know, little gullies and they want to just hike that and climb various parts and some people want to do like vertical stuff and some people want to do overhanging caves and, and really push themselves but on every level I think it's just such a primitive thing. I think it's natural. I think we're, we're born to move and we live in a world that's about chairs and couches and uh, sitting around for the most part, right? Hearing myself talk about how I feel about climbing is like almost paraphrasing shit. Mm. And so it like made me inspired and stoked. It reminded oh, really? me, oh yeah. I, fine, yeah. I was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, cause it's all truths, you know? Like. When you said, when people ask you about things, sometimes you might have an answer and other times you might just go cause it feels right. Mm. And do you need to question that more? No, but the day it doesn't feel right, and you're still doing it, then when someone asks you, hey, why do you feel that way? Then you might want to go, hmm, why do I feel that way? <laughs> 